Hello students, welcome to 7th lecture of S block elements. So today we are going to discuss about some general characteristics of compounds of alkali earth metals. So the dipositive oxidation state is the predominant valence of the group 2 elements. That means all of this group uh, element shows plus 2 oxidation state as a normal. Now these metals are quite reactive and that's why Alkaline earth metal forms compounds which are predominantly ionic but less ionic than the corresponding compounds of alkali metals. That means alkali metals are comparatively more electropositive than the alkaline earth metal. And that's why ionic nature of alkali metals are stronger than the alkaline earth metal but still alkaline earth metals are also strong metals and that's why they give com uh, ionic compounds. And uh, it is because of increased nuclear charge and smaller size. The oxide and other compounds of beryllium and magnesium are more covalent than those formed by the heavier and large sized member. And simple reason, heavier and larger sized members have more stronger ionic nature or metallic nature. The general characteristics of some of the compounds of the alkali earth metals are as described below. So first oxides and hydroxides. Alkaline earth metal burns in oxygen to form monoxide except for BeO. It has salt structure, rock salt structure. The BeO is essentially the covalent in nature. And the uh, simple reason is we need larger difference of electronegativity between the positive and negative element to, gain, uh, to get ionic nature. But beryllium being smaller in size, it also have comparatively less electro positivity that means it is electronegative than other group members so between the uh, beryllium and oxygen we do not have enough electronegativity gap and that's why they give us more than 50 percent covalent character and that's why it is considered as covalent nature the enthalpy of formation of these oxides are quite high and consequently they are very stable to heat BeO is amphoteric while oxides of other elements are ionic in nature. Now amphoteric that means it has two different type of nature or it can show two different type of uh, behavior which are opposite to each other. That means in this case BeO in certain cases shows ionic nature while in certain cases it shows covalent nature. We can consider the example of HCl. HCl or hydro, uh, hydrogen chloride is actually covalent compound but we know that it is a strong acid so that means it releases H plus if it releases H plus uh, that means it is the ionic nature but it is covalent compound so we can say that HCl is amphoteric it has ionic nature as well as covalent nature all the oxides except BeO are basic in nature and react with water uh, to form sparingly soluble hydroxides now keep in mind metal oxides are always basic in nature and metal non-metal oxides are acidic in nature. And same is applicable with hydroxides as well. Metal hydroxides are basic and non-metal hydroxides are acidic. So simple reaction MO with H2O gives MOH twice. The solubility, thermal stability and the basic character of these hydroxides increases with increasing atomic number from Mg to Ba. The alkaline earth metal uh, hydroxides are however less basic and less stable than the alkali metal hydroxides. Beryllium hydroxide is amphoteric in nature as it reacts with acid and alkali both. So metal oxides and hydroxides usually that, uh, their basicity depends on strength of metal. If we have strong metal like alkali metals then you will get strong basic nature and if you have weak metals then it will behave as weak base and here is the reaction of uh, BeOH twice with acid and base with uh, OH minus ion it gives beryllate ion which is complex compound and with acid it gives BeOH4 Cl2 type of complex compound so in both cases we get same type of compound both of them are complex compounds halides of alkali earth metals so except for beryllium halide all the other halide of alkaline earth metals are ionic in nature. Beryllium halides are essentially covalent and soluble in organic solvents. 
Beryllium chloride has changed structure in solid state as shown below. So as we can see, because of its covalent nature, it attaches with multiple chlorine as shown in this image. So usually it gives a chained three dimensional structure. In vapor phase, BCl2 tend to form a chloro bridged dimer which dissociates into the linear monomer at high temperatures of at order of 1200 Kelvin. Now dimer that means when two different units attach together it is called dimer. Here BeCl2 will act as monomer that means single unit and when two BeCl2 units are attached together it, call, it is called dimer. The tendency to form halide hydrates gradually decreases for example MgCl2 8H2O, CaCl2 6H2O, SrCl2 6H2O and BaCl2 2H2O. So as we can see as we move from top to bottom number of H2O molecules are decreasing. The dehydration of the hydrate chlorides, bromides and iodides of CaSr and Ba can be achieved on heating. So simply the water molecules will evaporate on heating. However, the corresponding hydrate halides of B and Mg on heating suffer hydrolysis. That means they will chemically react with water molecule. The fluorides are relatively less soluble than the chlorides owning their high lattice energies. Next is salts of oxo acids. So that means acidic compound with uh, uh, oxygen and it releases hydrogen as H plus from the OH group. The alkaline earth metal also forms salts of oxo acids. Some of these are as discussed. So first carbonates. Carbonates of alkaline earth metals are insoluble in water and can be precipitated by addition of the sodium or ammonium carbonate solution to the solution of the soluble salt of these metals. The solubility of carbonates in water decreases as the atomic number of metal ion increases. All the carbonate decomposes on heating that means by the decomposition it releases carbon dioxide and metal oxide. Simple reaction CaCO3 on heating gives CaO and CO2 that means calcium carbonate on heating gives calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So beryllium carbonate is unstable and can be kept only in the atmosphere of carbon dioxide so that it cannot react with other elements or other compounds. The thermal stability increases with increasing cationic size. Now thermal stability that means resistance against the heat. Thermal stability increment also represents it becomes more and more stable. Then we have sulfates. So sulfate of alkaline earth metals are all white solids and stable to heat. BeSO4, MgSO4 are readily soluble in water. The solubility decreases from CaSO4 to BaSO4. The greater hydrogen enthalpy of B2 plus and Mg2 plus ions overcomes the lattice enthalpy factor and therefore their sulfates are soluble in water. The nitrates are made by dissolution of the carbonates into dilute nitric acid. Magnesium nitrate crystallizes with 6 molecules of water whereas beryllium nitrate crystallizes as the anhydrous salt. Anhydrous that means without water or without the moisture. That means it is the dried form of the compound. This again shows the decreasing tendency to form hydrates with increasing size and decreasing hydration enthalpy. All of them decomposes on heating to give oxides like lithium nitrate. And the simple common reaction will be 2MONO3 twice gives 2MO4NO2 and one oxygen molecule. And all of this represents, M represents all of the alkaline earth metals. Now just like the first group, First member of the group is anomalous or different from the remaining elements of the group. So in this case it is beryllium. The first member of group 2 metal shows anomalous behavior as compared to the magnesium and rest of the members. Further it shows diagonal relationship to the aluminium which is discussed subsequently. So reasons are beryllium has exceptionally small atomic and ionic sizes and thus does not compare well with other members of the group. Because of high ionization enthalpy and small size, it forms compounds which are largely covalent and get easily hydrolyzed. Beryllium does not exhibit coordination number more than 4 
as it is valence shell there are only four orbital outermost orbital of the beryllium if we check it then you will see it lacks d orbital and because of lack of d orbital it cannot form more than four bonds so the remaining members of the group can have coordination number of six by making the use of d orbital and third the oxide and hydroxide of beryllium unlike the hydroxides of other elements in the group are amphoteric in nature we already discussed that point in previous category so other group member shows basic nature whereas oxides and hydroxides of beryllium shows amphoteric that means acidic as well as basic both type of natures then let's talk about the similarities between beryllium and aluminium the ionic radius of be2 plus is estimated to be 31 pm the charge to radius ratio is nearly the same as that of the aluminium plus 3 ion hence uh, beryllium resembles aluminium in some ways some of the similarities are like aluminium beryllium is not readily attacked by acids because of the presence of an oxide film on the surface of the metal now you may check it yourself if you observe aluminium metal in most of the cases aluminium metals are not covered it with paint whereas to prevent the corrosion in iron metal we have to paint it okay so all of the iron metals used in the structure formation or let's say grills of the windows all of them are covered with the color or paint because of rusting okay to prevent the rusting but if you check the aluminium metals they are not covered it with paint because they form their own protective layer on the surface by the oxide formation so normally metal oxides are a weaker compound than the metal itself but in case of aluminium metal oxide that means aluminium oxide is stronger than aluminium metal itself so it will stay on the surface of aluminium and it will protect the aluminium metal present inside from the atmospheric attack so same type of situation is being observed in beryllium beryllium forms stable oxide layer on the surface which prevents other oxygen molecule attack on the beryllium metal beryllium hydroxide dissolves in excess of the alkali to give beryllate ion as we discussed already same reaction is mentioned again just as aluminium hydroxide gives aluminate ion the chloride of both beryllium and aluminium have cl minus bridged chloride structure in vapor phase and both the chlorides are soluble in organic solvent and are strong lewis acid they are used in friedel craft crystal uh, catalysis and last point beryllium and aluminium ion have strong tendency to form complex bef42 minus and alf6 3 minus so they vary in their valence number and that's why number of attachments are different but they show similar type of behavior from the next lecture we will discuss about the compounds of calcium